Oh, look! Hmm. That was a surprise. A real surprise war, that one. Yep. Well, at least they're actually giving me a turn to move everything back into my borders before they attack. That's that's sweet of them. You know, they didn't have to do that. We will respect that. And yeah, this is this is the only reason why I might actually de <laughs> plus ten defender of the faith. This is this is the only thing, the only thing that is going to give me any chance of winning this. And even then, my chances are slim. And the thing that makes it super annoying as well is that I've got such a production glut at the moment. Oh, this is the time I should be building settlers. One turn settler, but I can't because as soon as I build it, you'll end up just killing the damn thing. Ugh, so frustrating. Why? Why? Why did you need to attack me? This is going to be one of those wars where if they don't want to come and, and just like attack me, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go chase them. I'm going to sit here and I'm just going to sling the goddamn world from them. Here we go. And now I've got an archery upgrade next turn. And I've managed to build up 80, 80 whole gold. Yeah, these guys are going to regret. They're going to regret coming after me. me. Bear grills. I'm going to eat them. I'm going to eat everyone, damn it. Oh, look. Now they've retreated. What? What sort of half assed war was that? Oh, so flippin' annoying. Fine. You know what? I've got loads of archers now, so I'm going to... I'm, I'm actually going to chase them down. I'm going to give them a bloody nose, and if it gets too bad, I'll I'll run back home crying and whimpering, and it'll it'll be completely manly and fine. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Well, fine. They don't want to fight me. I'm going to pump out some settlers because my God, they don't own me. Bear grills. I'm far too powerful to get involved in all this nonsense. You see, now I've upgraded to archers, now they really want to come and fight me. They're like, wow, look at these new weapons that we could all get killed by. Isn't that great? Ugh. Just jumping on the bandwagon, if you ask me. If you've ever wondered how to beat an early game warrior rush, it's, well, put Defender of the Faith in your empire, get some archers. And then just do nothing but sit back and just enjoy the ride. Because my god, they will all die and it will be hilarious. I'm also doing that cheeky thing where I build one turn of the campus just to lock in its production level and then switch over to Settler. Because it's clearly not cheaty at all. It's utterly, utterly fine. Oh, what's that, Mapushi? You still, you still want more, do you? Let's say, get lost. Everybody get lost. I'm tired of this already. I'm absolutely tired of this. We could we could go and take some Apushi cities if we were really feeling like it, but it just sounds like a lot of work at this precise point of the game, so we're just gonna just gonna push my army out a little bit, entice them into coming and counterattacking, which is exactly what we would want them to do. So Mr. Curtains over here, which is good. Curtains for the curtain. I'm, I'm actually really interested to see what happens between all of the uh, AIs here. What's going to happen? Are they are they going to fight each other? Is Mapushi losing all their army to me? Is that going to open them up to another assault from another AI? I kind of weirdly hope it does. I feel like that would be that would be justice. Justice for Ursa. That should be a thing if it's not a thing. Oh look, a settler. Uh, nope. I don't. I don't like the look of that. I think I might have to come and intervene here. This is. This is a terrible idea, settling near me like this. Maybe I should have moved my settle down in that direction. That was probably a good idea. Ooh, they want to put me in a dark era. I'll show them what a dark era means. Also, I'm getting this because I'll get loads of era score because I'll be spreading my religion everywhere like a nuisance. Keeping the builders on for now, keeping the agogi on for now. None of it really matters. It's all going to go towards the same pot of just trying to survive against Mapushi here, but I push back that settler, which is really good news actually, because it means I'm going to be able to hopefully forward settle them a little bit. Let's just see what the loyalty pressures are like at the moment. Oh, quite considerable. Quite considerable. So I might need to stick my first governor over here if that's where I'm going to settle. Um, it's fine. I've still got space. You know, I can still sit, sit more cities up in that direction, but Birmingham I managed to plop down and I want to make sure I've got another two on this border just so that if they do attack me and I do lose a city, it's not the capital. That would be that would be a nice, a nice luxury, you know, not losing my capital as my first city. I'm going to go for Raina first. I quite like her. Stick her straight in the capital, build up a couple of permissions on her and you start getting plus two gold for every citizen, which, if you're Bear grills is a lot of citizens. 
So essentially what we're going to be doing is just glutting on population. Oh, hello, Gandhi. We found them all. We found the crew. So actually, you know what? Everybody's really on top of each other this game. It's going to be interesting to see how long I can survive before they start overrunning me. Hmm. That city has 35 strength. Um, well, that means they've got probably swordsmen or at least some other scary early game unit. So, yeah, we got to be careful about pushing too close. We've, we've, we've given the Pushi an incredibly bloody nose, to be fair. La, La Toro is not... not oh, she will be regretting attacking us, I feel. Let's just move the units here. I just want to chase down that settler. If I can pinch a settler, that's going to be the ultimate success for me. I will be so proud of myself if I can do that against Deity AI. It would be uh, magnificent, beautiful, a beautiful moment for everyone involved. Oh, we might be able to do this. There's, there's other troops in the area, so this is risky. This is really risky. But you're going to... Oh, for God's sake. Movement issues. Damn it. Anyway. I've got a city at Sheffield. What a wonderful city Sheffield is. And Americans, how'd you pronounce that? Two guesses. It's Birmingham, or it's not. One of those is correct. 17 gold per turn for peace. That's a nice deal. That's a really nice deal. I was just gonna, I don't like doing it outside of my turn because I wanna be able to see what they've got, but yeah, there's nothing I can do at the moment. Ah, oh, the settlers run away. Okay, that's fine. To be honest, that's fine. It means that I've had time to sort of stretch my army out and, and really be able to forward settle Mapushi a little bit. And actually, I don't want to go any further forward than that. If I just keep this line, it means I can settle up to the north and get myself at least six cities down. It'll give myself the science and, uh, and an economic base that I should be able to push out with for the rest of the match. But I'm just going to see how many troops I can kill just in this turn. I don't like making peace without knowing that I've inflicted maximum damage on the enemy. You know, it's prevention. If nothing else, it's making sure that my tomorrow is safer. And that is what it's all about. You know, you've got to, you've got to attack somebody to defend. Aggressive defense. It's my favorite sort of defense. Well, I think I'll take that peace deal. Let's have a look and see what you can give me. Oh, I've got 34 and they only give me 17. I feel, I feel that's slightly unfair, but... I'll take that. I'll take that for now. Mapishi, you've got a deal. You've got a deal. I survived though. I survived the deity initial rush. I'm not entirely sure how I did that, but I'm not going to complain one bit. Ugh, Russia's spreading their religion to me. That's not nice. We're going to have to discuss this. Oh, they don't like me enough to promise that. Yep, this is going to be fun. This is going to be super fun. Anyway, I built the government plaza. That's, that's good. That means my, my, non <laughs> my non-existent campus is going to do well. Basically, all I'm going to do for the next couple of turns, while I'm waiting for this fourth city to be popped up, um, and I'll move this Liang, I'll move her across just to keep the loyalty um, once I've done that. Well, all I'm going to be doing, essentially, is just building builders, making sure every tile in my empire is as improved as possible. And once I've done that, I'm hoping that essentially I'll be able to just get 20, 30 population cities while the computer is just doing its thing. Uh, I'll be able to tech up, build an army, and then go to war. Now, that won't happen because something appalling will happen that ruins my plan. But until then, until then, it's not a bad idea. Birmingham is going to be such a huge city. Look at all these, look at all these farms with the extra Bear Grylls special on top of that. It's going to be, it's going to be a good old city, this. Oh, the loyalty on this city is going to sting, but it's okay. Right, quickly. Let's, oh, that's not the one I want. Let's get somebody moved across. This is always really quite fun when you can do this groundbreaker. You know, actually, I might put Magnus in charge. Let's uh, reassign him to Plymouth. There we go. Nice. Plymouth should be on the sea, I feel. But for now, that's all right. Four cities. Four city. That's not too bad. I mean, I'm still last, um, which which isn't great, but I think that's fine. I'll do all right. I've got Russia. Russia will... Russia's being killed. Russia's being killed. It's fine. Russia will disappear pretty quickly. But if I can if I can wait until I can get some decent troops, I, I still think I've got a chance. still think I've got a chance here. One thing that might work quite well is actually Lisbon is fairly safe behind my borders. We might be able to... If we can keep Lisbon safe, we're going to be able to get a lot of commercial districts that have a lot of adjacency bonus. 
might actually work out quite well for us here. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm cautiously optimistic about that one. So if you're wondering whether or not the Bear Grylls ability was cheating, just take a look at here, uh, uh, Russia, right? Seven population, four, two, two. At the moment, I've got eight, five, four, two. Like it's not, it's not dissimilar. Really, that plus one food, just, it gives me that little bit of bonus that the computer would have got anyway. Do you know what I mean? Like it, it they, they cheat. The computer cheats on Deity. I, I feel no shame about giving myself a little bonus to get through this this difficult time. Also, keeping on top of population or housing here is really tricky because my cities are growing so quickly. Look, Birmingham is already capped out. There, Sheffield is already capped out as well. Just granaries everywhere. Granaries and farms. Now, this is an interesting one. Do I go to the classical republic and get myself more housing and amenities as well as more great people points? Or do I go to the autocracy uh, sorry, no, Oligarchy and get myself the extra combat strength. Now, I would normally love to go to the housing. Really love to go to the housing, but we're going to have to go Oligarchy because I need to keep myself safe. I'm also going to go for his swan, plus 75% science in cities with a holy site because I do have a holy site, so let's go through that quickly. That would be quite fun. Get myself the extra... Pre oh, I can't even do that. Can't even do that, they're just extra points and then Elizabeth will love me eventually. Now that I have a shrine completed, which is a very good thing, I'm just gonna quickly finish the campus because I've got all that bonuses at the moment, but I'm now going to start building a couple of missionaries because my god, I Bear Grylls is brilliant and I need the world to know how brilliant he is. Otherwise, just what's the point? What's the point in going on if I can't tell the world how brilliant Bear Grylls is? It's my, my one saving grace. We're also going to get audience chamber. This is the one. Immunity and four housing. Any any city with a governor in it. Which is three of my cities at the moment and will soon be four once I finish that building. So yep, it's gonna be good. Also, trading units are gonna be immune to being plundered and water towers. Boring. Lisbon sucks. This religion is gonna be really tough to get rid of. Oh, I really need apostles. But we've done it. We love bear. We love Bear Grylls. We need to spread this across our entire civilization and make sure that nobody else gets in because my god, literally the only thing that's going to keep us alive, especially now Mapushi seems to be coming back for round two with catapults. Yeah, we need we need that, that bonus to defense and quickly. There we go, so the hall finished. We've got 17 housing in London now. Uh, Birmingham, will, I mean, we put the we put the cardinal in because I think that will help keep my religion out from you know rushes just slowly encroaching. But you can see already Sheffield's got ten possible housing and Plymouth has got nine. So we're going to start getting huge cities now. Commercial hubs are also another important thing that we want to be building. Libraries, of course, everything's important. Everything's really important. But just getting all of these districts down as soon as possible is really going to help. Look at that, plus four adjacency. Yes, please. And we've also managed to spread our religion to everybody, which is a real positive. Oh look, Russia has managed to slip a city round, but it won't keep the loyalty on it, so I'm not too worried. I am worried about these these warriors who have just appeared though. What, what, what's going on with these guys, eh? I'm just going to have to move a couple of my troops back. I don't think I'm in too much problem. What I'm also doing is along the border here, I'm just building a double encampment just across this river just to really give Mapushi as much issue as possible if they did choose to come and attack me, which no doubt at some point they will choose to do that. But it's, I'm so far, so far I'm quietly confident about how this is going. You know, it's it could be a lot worse. It could be a lot worse. We've now got a population 12, 7, 6, and 5, which is really good. It means the latent science in our empire is pretty good. It means we can just work a lot of tiles, make sure the production's nice and high. I think, yeah, once we've got feudalism, we should be rocking. I might settle a couple of other cities, but we've got, we're going to get one extra city up there from when Russia loses inevitably that. So I'm not too, not too much in a rush. It's just a matter of who we're going to attack first. I think it's going to have to be Russia, but there's no rush. There's no rush. Building up the infrastructure for now. Just make sure we don't fall behind in tech too much, which I don't think we will. But I am beelining crossbows at the moment just to make sure that if they do attack, they're not going to be able to fire over the top of the river. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying. This is a little bit different to what we've been doing the last couple of weeks. And let me know. Do you think while looking at this game that you too would be able to beat the deity with the AI Plus mod on? I'm 
I'm cautiously optimistic, but I am ready for that late game deity rush when the entire just world collapses in on you. I think if we can get to the atomic age and we can build ourselves a nuclear army, I think we might do all right. You know, we can just drop the bombs on people. We might get a might get into a decent enough position with that, but yeah, I don't know if that's going to be enough. We're going to have to see. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, join me next time, and we'll uh, we'll crack on. Bye.